For I guess we're back on the grind for the Melanistic Elk and down there. I just spotted one of the best looking level 5 pools I've ever seen. Look at that. The tips are almost touching, that is a really unique rack. The estimate ain't exactly promising, so it's hard to know if it's gonna be the diamond number 6, but if I'm not mistaken, that is a medium sized rack, so there is a high chance it makes it. And luckily for us in the game, the scoring system for the Roosevelt doesn't consider the tip to tip spread, and that means that fortunately the close distance between both tips won't tank the score as it happens with the white tail, for example. There's actually not any kind of spread measurement for the elk species in the game, so this guy should score just as any regular diamond. We're gonna get on this tree stand. And we're gonna drop this guy with the 300, we are at 182 meters. Should be relatively easy to hit the heart from here, although the angle is not ideal. Let's see. He is down. Okay, he's gonna float to the side, so let's go see how big it is. But first of all, I wanna talk a bit about how the grind is going. As I said, we're at 1072, now 73 kills in, and on average we've been killing around 40 bulls per hour. That has been the constant for the last 5 days or so, and I've been trying to increase that number. Really trying to increase it, I would say, but the spawns are not consistent enough to make it possible. You know, the main problem is that the bulls keep respawning on new places all the time, so I have to constantly update my setup, but even with that issue, the numbers are really decent. I mean, 40 bulls per hour ain't bad at all. Although I have to mention that in order to reach that number, I use the four-wheeler to harvest pretty much every single kill, which is a huge time saver. Okay, gonna take a few pictures. It actually looks like a heart. A heart-shaped rack. Such a cool looking rack, very unique. And well, let's see what it scores. 385.48 diamond, that is the diamond number 6 after 1073 kills. We hit a single long and the heart with the 300 at 183 meters. And this is, without any doubt, one of the best trophies of the grind, even though it's not an especially huge diamond, the rack is simply amazing. We are 1193 kills into the grind, still no melanistic. But there we have a good candidate to be the diamond number 7. It ain't as big as a unique level 5 we got yesterday, in fact this one. Maybe a troll? I mean, that is the smallest rack a level 5 can have, so it could perfectly be the second troll of the grind, which hopefully won't be the case, but the chance is probably 50-50. We are almost at 160 meters. 165, gonna get to 150 to use the muscle loader. Alright. Let's go for the heart. Oh, come on. Let's see now. All right. That's it. This guy is gonna be the diamond number seven or the second troll. The last troll actually had the same rack. So let's see how big is this one. 370 on the dot. That is the second troll of the grind, sadly. 7 diamonds, 3 rares, and 2 trolls. That is a really nice looking pieable, level 3. He will probably be a big silver, not as big as the gold scoring one we got a few days ago, but if you ask me, I have to say this one looks better. You know, the gold one, even though it was bigger, was kinda wonky, and I don't know, I'm simply not a huge fan of the rack it had, because let's be honest, some of the Roosevelt racks are really ugly. This is one of the species that I really hope gets a true racks rework at some point. I simply don't think the current racks make him justice, apart from a few. So hopefully at some point they'll get improved along with their model and their fur. I mean, we saw the white and the moose get this kind of rework, so there's not any reason to think that that ain't gonna happen in the future, because frankly there's plenty of room for improvement on those aspects. I'ma go for a hard shot as soon as he lifts his head. 
he is down. The third pipe of the grind in the rare number 4. The rack is really decent as well, definitely deserves a few pictures. And well, that is the third pipe of the grind, 263.15 silver. We are 1344 kills into the grind, we are making some decent progress. I am still harvesting around 3 bulls per hour, so the numbers have stayed consistent, and even though the melanistic hasn't spawned yet, it's always nice to see more diamonds appearing. As you can see, there is another level 5, which fortunately on this case is guaranteed the diamond number 7. As long as we make a good shot, there's no way this guy doesn't make it, it has the medium sized rack, which always makes it, and in addition, if there is any doubt, the estimate also leaves it very clear. It is gonna score in the high 380s, perhaps 390s, and it may be able to reach low 400s as well, so it covers a wide screen range, but I have to say that it is far from being my favorite rack. In my opinion, such high scoring antlers should definitely have more mass and not look like a pair of twigs. Ok, he's head on now, walking straight towards us, getting close to 120 meters. Now he's alert, he's smelling us. The wind couldn't be worse, so that's why. But anyway, we're gonna go for the hard shot with the muscle order. He's alarmed. And that's it. Here we have the diamond number 7. 394.45, big diamond. Pretty regular diamond, there's nothing on the rack that makes it unique in any way, so obviously it ain't as special as the heart shaped diamond we got this week, but it's still a really nice trophy, and another diamond to the count, 7 diamonds, 4 rares and 2 trolls. Another diamond potential. Just as the last troll it has the smallest rack a level 5 can have, and it is in fact in the same place where I found it. We got him on this other zone that seems to be getting bigger every day. 7 bulls now, that's crazy. Anyway, I'ma get a bit further from this level 5 to exit the rifle spook range and be able to shoot a couple of these guys without spooking the other herd. Let's see. Alright. That one is going down, he's down. Gonna go for the third one. But apparently we didn't hit it good. Oh, I see why. I didn't change the searing distance back to 150 so that he to high my bat. Well, now the level 5 is alarmed. We shot too many times and he heard us. But still, we're gonna have a chance to reach the heart. That's it. This guy is gonna be either the diamond number 8 or the troll number 3. Hopefully it is big enough to make it. Here is big enough, 382.91 diamond. That is the diamond number 8, 8 diamonds, 4 rares and 2 trolls. After 1557 kills, the grind for a melanistic Roosevelt has come to an end. Right there. It ain't possible to see his full body inside the reeds, but I clearly saw it when he was arriving to the zone. And it didn't take me long to notice, it is significantly darker than the others, but not super dark I mean. It is dark enough to be perfectly distinguishable under some decent light, but in the shadows it would be a different story. The plan is to get this guy close enough to use a crossbow and to take some nice pictures, that is gonna be the priority. As you can see, it ain't completely dark, it is more like a dark grey. I mean, in comparison with other melanistics, it looks quite light, but I'm still a huge fan of how it looks, to be honest. It is one of my favorite fur types in the game, and I'm really happy to finally find one. Beautiful. I'ma take a few more pictures. And we're gonna have to take a shot because he's getting really close and he's gonna out to spook really soon. I wanna hit the heart, but it's gonna be complicated from above him. Let's see. Oh! 
we got him. That was close. Here we have it guys, finally a melanistic bull elk. He died on the worst possible position, but luckily we don't really need more pictures. The grind for a melanistic elk is over after 1500 kills, but there are still many rares that I need to find on different reserves, so this won't be the last one. <laughs>